his legacy exemplifies discipline. Like Jackie Robinson's life is a story within itself, not just his baseball career, not his accomplishments within the diamond. What Jackie Robinson went through to get to where he got, and I'm not even just talking about him being a baseball player. I'm talking about him growing up and him going through life prior to him figuring out that he wanted to be a baseball player. That story within itself is a story. The story of when he finally reached the major leagues and then the first person to break the color barrier and open the door for many other people to come after him. That is a story. The philanthropic career and endeavors that he had after his retirement from Major League Baseball, that in itself is a story. Jackie Robinson is my hero for, for, for many different reasons. I think the courage he has simplified in his life. I think the risk that he took in his life. I think the, the roles that he paid for people um, in his life. And then just him just being a multi-sport athlete and me growing up and being an athlete. And then also knowing that this man is from not the same neighborhood, but the same city. Um, you know, internally here, locally in L.A., most people from different neighborhoods of L.A. don't specifically claim LA but I mean worldwide we go other places a lot of people don't know these pockets within LA so the majority of us claim LA so on a more worldwide lens me and Jackie Robinson is from the same city he represent the same place Los Angeles um so that within itself is 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 a, a, a great inspiration but the reason why I feel like this tied into the discipline is just now that we getting back into his career and everything he's accomplished, Jackie Robinson is one of the best to ever do it. Um, one of the best the game has ever seen. And that speaks volumes to who he is as a as a man. Um, but it also speaks volumes to his character. Think about just the time that he was in. He broke the color barrier in 1947. Racism is still high. Segregation is still high. Um, bigotry is very high. And so like these actions that are being carried out against the blacks because of the color of their skins, they are like at they're I want to say they're at their peak, but they're happening and like you have to deal with it. And this man stepped into a career field to where he is putting himself on front street every single game, meaning that at that time Major League Baseball, obviously he's the first black person in the league. There's probably more than 100 athletes in it, but let's say there was 100 athletes in the Major League Baseball. I mean, there was 99 white people and it was just this one black man and they're traveling city to city to play against each other. And he's stepping into these stadiums with hundreds of thousands of people, not hundreds of thousands, but thousands of people who don't look like him, who's rooting against him, who is rooting for his failure, who are throwing things at him, who are saying racial epithets towards him sending threatening letters toward to, to him addressing threatening letters to him and his family in the midst of the games and things like that this man dealt with all this and despite all that he had a great career he's one of the best to ever do it april 15th every year every major league baseball player wears his number 42 and it's not just because he broke the color barrier, it's because he broke the color barrier, he did it in a professional fashion, and he was great at what he did.